the representative of St. Vincent Grandings for the statement. I now give the floor to the Russian Federation. Thank you, Mr. President. We are pleased to note the significant progress made in Libya's political settlement. We welcome the fact that new transition authorities have been set up, the Presidential Council and the Government of National Unity. We hope that the country's new executive branch will be in a position to set up united governmental structures and institutions, as well as united armed forces. Dealing with these challenges successfully will provide the necessary conditions for a referendum on the constitution to be held and also for general elections planned for the 24th of December this year. By the same token, as far as we gather from the 21st report, the ICC prosecutor is really taking aim at the Libyan National Army, just like before the prosecutor is turning a blind eye to the crimes committed by those who once plunged the country into chaos. An investigation into the numerous civilian casualties of the NATO airstrikes is still with no explanation given, not within the ICC's sphere of interest. Even when it comes to investigating those uh, actions that the prosecutor's office have deemed to be priority ones, the prosecutors settle for information from individuals and non-governmental organizations. Mr. President, the most important thing now is to focus on surmounting the deep-rooted domestic political crisis in the country and to ensure national reconciliation, taking account of the crucial interests of all parts of Libyan society. We do not think that the ICC has a useful role to play in this process. Thank you. I thank the Russian Federation for his statement. I now